War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war, war never changes. The gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. Subject has been performing adequately. No spikes and visuals. Nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe will be pleased. How are they in appearance? I'm certain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. And with zero anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Gentlemen, I trust everything is going well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up Phase 1. Thank you, sir. I'll set Phase 1 on autopilot. See that it's done. Seems to be rousing a bit. Not to worry. Let's put them back under.
Gee, thanks. Log entry one. Group first of secure as a batch of the rat shrews for testing. I would have preferred working with rat rats, but it seems they were chased out by their counterparts. Judging by the size of the rat shrews in London Bridge Station, I don't entirely blame them. Log entry two. Testing on the captured rat shrews is going well. Multiple have died, but the remaining ones are stronger than ever. I'm especially proud of the one we affectionately refer to as Big Dave. I'm now going to move us on to the next stage of development, which will introduce more vitamins into their diet. We also simultaneously reduce their feed to see how they cope. I predict a lot of them will die, so we better get the nets ready to capture some more. Log entry 3. Smite should be content with the results. Progress has been made and exciting new things have been discovered. Not only did the rush roots surpass expectations, but some of the results correlate with our prize subjects next door. It will be fabulous to see it all coming together. With any luck, Smite will visit the laboratory soon and see our progress. The rush roots. A small, carnivorous mammal, the rush roots seems to have mutated from its much smaller counterpart the common shrew. Unlike the common shrew, which was insectivorous, its evolution along the food chain now permits it to hunt much larger prey. The rat shrew has tiny eyes and a large nose, giving it a keen sense of smell. Rat shrews snuffle through the undergrowth for their prey and can be found in most habitats, but prefer dirt flooring, woodland, and grassland. Active by day and night, they are very territorial and aggressive for their size, yet sometimes be heard fighting their high pitched squeaks. Particularly not spelled during the summer. Hmm. Well, oh, I just released him in my. Fuck. Fuck you. Because the ports user health notification. Mm -hmm. This is the British Broadcast Ministry. I'm Bradley Fortworth, your host and guide through the wonderful world of classical music. Welcome to Crystal Palace Radio. I'm Artful Roger. And I'm Olivia Twist, playing those delightful classics from the other side of the pond. What? Is this thing on? Hello?
It got no power. The bloody thing won't budge. Play nothing, Johnny. You won't need less than a fucked clock. Winston, you have a go. You got it, boss. Uh-huh. Yeah. No power. I can remove it from the main network. But... What the fuck's that on the camera? Right outside, look. It may one of the floors. I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find the long way. Rerouting to emergency power. Where are you going? Outside. I doubt you'll make it far, someone such as yourself. You were more useful as a lab rat. Oh, well, fuck you too. Warning. 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 But alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Off you go then. Be seeing you. Emergency decontamination in effect. Going up. You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Right. Escaping all that hubbub. With all you've been through, I'm impressed. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Now, I'm sure you have many questions. And perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe, and remember, mind the gap.
shard to a vertical city. Welcome to the shard. Management reminder subject. Welcome to the shard. Intentional staff. Welcome to the shard. London's premier luxury hotel and residence. We extend our warmest greetings to all guests arriving during this tumultuous time. Rest assured, your comfort and safety are our top priority. Please enjoy your stay and do not hesitate to contact our concierge team for any assistance you may require. Thank you for your cooperation. Best regards to the shard management. Throw the peasants out. Attention all staff. In light of the ongoing resource war and heightened security measures, it is imperative that we maintain strict access protocols. Please remember that individuals of lower standards or class are not permitted entry into the buildings under any circumstances. Reporting breaches immediate security personnel. As we continue our violent defense against the unexpected visitors and mice, let's ensure our hotel remains impenetrable. Keep the access points to the shaft locked tighter than a jar of warmite and report any suspicious characters, human or mice, pronto. We are experiencing minor issues with plumbing in several guest rooms on the 12th floor. Uh -huh. Nice hair. Looks fresh.
ouvert. Was that? Sounded painful if you ask me. Better not be those dogs up to something. I swear if it is. Not everything's the dogs, Johnny. You look like shit, mate. You are right. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the lab rat, you made it out. You're in a right state, ain't you? Never had a crash down here before. Do you have any water? I'm really thirsty. Of course. Winston. Here, enjoy. Who are you? Name's Gaunt. Sebastian Gaunt. And these dredges are Chill Winston and Johnny Shrapnel. But you can ignore Johnny. We're the Vagabonds. We're the roughest, toughest, sharpest gang round these parts. Not like the dogs. Snuff it, Johnny. Don't scare away our new acquaintance. So, who are you exactly? I'm not really sure. I woke up in a lab. They were scientists, and then I got on a train. Only the gentry use those trains. Looks like you're the wayfarer now, like the rest of us. I don't think I'm a gentry. Uh, yeah, well, you don't look like it. What is this place? Lewisham, or what's left of it. Where are the dogs? The... The Isle of Dogs Syndicate. Johnny gets a bit excited about them. Wait a minute. You were in that lab, fighting those scientists. Yeah, it was supposed to be a supply run. We bought the location off someone in Thameshaven. Some old construction papers. I'm not in a good shape. I need a doctor. Well then, Wayfarer. Seems like you've got two choices. You could head down that way to the Thames folk. Ain't exactly pleasant to look at, but appearances can be deceiving. They may even know a thing or two about that lab, seeing as they sold us the location. Otherwise, you can stick it out with me and my mates. We help you out, you help us out. What's wrong with the Thames folk? Uh, how can I put this nicely? They look like chewing gum stamped into the pavement. And what do you mean by helping you out? Let's just say that we're not the only gang sniffing around London. And we need help dealing with the competition. Obviously, we'd give you a little pick-me-up first. And what if none of that sounds appealing to me? You could just wander off in a random direction, but I wouldn't recommend it. I doubt that you'd last long in your state. You know what? I'll stick it out with you guys. Ace. We could use an extra pair of hands. Here, take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. Right, as this seems to be a prime rabbit in the headlights situation, I'll give you a rundown of who's who in old Blighty, shall I? First up, there's us. We're the Vagabonds, 
Used to be big names in South London till a couple of things went awry. But enough about that till later. The cunts who made things go awry are the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. There's a fucking lot of them, and they all walk around with the gentry reserves in their sky rocket, so they've got tickets to burn. They got that bees and honey dancing with the gentry. The gentry rule from their ivory towers, pissing off their pedestals from Westminster. Forget trying to get in there. Those gates are tighter than a duck's arse. Why are they so tight, you ask? Because they've got the Tommies to defend them. Powerful enough to take the peace, too stupid to keep it. Which means the occasional toe rags crop up and have a point of blighty leadership. This brings me to the dress-up factions. Take your pick. Camelot, the only Tin Man Knights in Wandsworth. Or if you fancy painting it black, you've the fifth column tyrants in Tower Hamlets. Next on the list, you've the twats in the periphery. Hooligans that'll smack you. Beef eaters that'll eat you. Jack Tars will stick a cannon up your ass. Roundels in Hackney. Well, they keep to themselves unless you've got a thing against scooters. Miller's men are the slapheads over in Islington. Neighbouring next to them are the pistols in Camden and what's anarchy in the UK. All of that makes sense. So, as life dictates, you should probably stick with us. Know what I mean? The rest you can work out yourself, because I'm tired of monologuing. But yeah, if they shoot at you, they ain't your mate. Guns are more common round here these days, ever since Enfield opened its doors to all and sundry. You need to keep your head down. You ain't in that test chair anymore, Sasha. Now, left, right, left, right. I think they call it walking. There it is, Greenwich Station. We've got a small camp across the road. The fuck? What? Ricky! What the fuck? They attacked us. Took us by surprise. How many? Two or three IODs. Fucking dogs. Fuck them all. And what the fuck were they doing here? They... They were... I feel faint. Christ, you're pathetic. Wayfarer, get a first aid kit from Greenwich Station. <coughs> well, I'm here.
you came back. I've got a first aid kit. Gaunt's gone. And he was the one with the medical know-how. Don't suppose you could fix me up? Couldn't I find you a doctor? Unless one happens to walk by, you wouldn't reach one in time. I can't fix you, but I can blow the bleeding. And let me have a look. I'll get the bullet out and stop the bleeding for now. I feel slightly better. I'll sit here a while, regain my strength. Thank you. Go to the Swan and Mitre. Give them dogs hell.
Welcome, tourists, to the old Royal Naval College in Greenwich. This place holds centuries of history, and I'm here to guide you through its storied past. The roots of this institution stretch back to the late 17th century when King Charles II founded the Royal Hospital for Seamen in 1694. This was a place where retired sailors, often wounded and infirm, could find refuge and care. Designed by Sir Christopher Wren, the buildings that now make up the old Royal Naval College were constructed in the early 18th century. The architectural beauty of these structures is a testament to the English Baroque style, with their grand domes, elegant colonnades, and symmetrical layouts. Over the years, this site served multiple purposes. In the 19th century, it became the Royal Naval College, where officers were trained in navigation, seamanship, and naval tactics. It was a hub of maritime education, and played a crucial role in the development of the British Navy. During World War I and World War II, the college served as a training ground for thousands of naval officers who would go on to play vital roles in the conflict. In 1998, the Royal Navy vacated the premises and the site was transformed into what you see today, a magnificent cultural centre. now a World Heritage Site, and houses institutions like the University of Greenwich and Trinity Lab and Conservatoire of Music and Dance. As you explore these historic grounds, take a moment to admire the Painted Hall, often referred to as the Sistine Chapel of the UK due to its stunning ceiling and wall paintings. And don't miss the Chapel of St. Peter and St. Paul, a place of serenity and reflection. The old Royal Naval College in Greenwich is more than just a collection of beautiful buildings. It is a living testament to the maritime heritage of the United Kingdom and a reminder of the dedication of those who served their nation at sea. So, tourist, as you wander through these historic halls, let the echoes <coughs> of the past guide your steps and immerse yourself in the rich history of this remarkable place. Greetings, fellow listeners. You're on the men. Nigel the Nihilist. He'd certainly fall out in London, all right? Yup, a great one by Seth Bentos, everyone. Yay! Listen in. This beach powder out we have. <sighs> With the Kraken, get the tentacles, you dandy prick! Ooh, falling down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Who's there? Here's train to Merseyside with a bunch of arseholes partying on a train. Report to Con. Red alert. Stand down. 
you say so, mate. You're taking the can back of its bollocks, though, mate. Ah. Look at this. 